Morobo County in South Sudan is a central Victoria state, an area that has no access to electricity or running water, an area which is as well lacking timely information due to the absence of electronic media. But now things are changing. The community members of Morobo County, with the support of the Germany NGO, GIZ, are setting up a radio station. The community should be involved at all levels. They own and manage the station and they produce the contents. Uh, we have been longing for a project like this because we have been depending on other county radios, which sometimes do not really give us all the needs that we want. So I really feel happy that we can all uh, at least do a lot of awareness on other social services to our people. As the construction starts, the broadcasting schedule of Morobo FM is set. The radio will provide information about farming, education, current affairs, and will as well have entertainment programs for the community. So this is the difference in relevance. So the community radio is relevant for the community, right? As a first step towards the community radio, 21 volunteers from across Morobo County were being trained in journalism. <laughs> Exchange Perspectives, an NGO supporting community-based media initiatives, was contracted by GIZ to train reporters and presenters who had no previous experience, neither with media production nor with working on a computer or with a sound recorder. After three weeks of intensive training, the students have to take their final exercise. Each one has to prepare a radio show in an improvised studio. Okay, Juma, can you hear me now? Yeah, I'm Ah, we have a special caller on the line today. Can you train us to be with us here? When we start moving for computer training? As we've heard enough from him, he, he really talked a lot on, on computers, he talked on audacity. News in English. Ah, you are welcome, our farmer. Yeti, presenter. Uh, thank you very much, our guest, once again in the studio. I said, why Isaac Alate in the studio? Uh, in the first place, I was so happy because this being my first show, after three weeks, if I uh, can manage to produce such in a studio, I'm very, 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 very much pleased of that. I was very happy. At the beginning, I was excited because uh, I don't know how I could come up with, how I can start. But as time went on, I even picked more interest in the studio. And I had actually admired that if I could be in the studio for at least three to four hours. So according to me, I felt it very well. And actually, I pray that the radio starts on and I will be doing the same work. Christian, now we have heard from all the participants about the training, which has come to an end today after three weeks. So after all the feedback, what is your first impression? Was it a success or was it not? I think it was a full success. For me, this is really the greatest project I've worked in so far. Is there anything planned so the participants will not just go home and stay idle for six weeks? Is there any plan? So I think the participants should go home and they should stay idle for some two, three weeks just to relax because you did a great job here, definitely. And you gave everything. I mean, I'm after the three weeks really completely exhausted. Um, and I think many of you are also. So go home, celebrate. You have lots of reasons to celebrate. You did great the three weeks. The trainees started from scratch, but now they are the voice of their respective villages providing residents with information, improving their everyday life. The GIZ governance program provided and constructed the building, the mast, and the generator, as well as a solar backup system. Since May of 2014, Radio Morobo broadcasts on 102.8 FM. Uh, the civil servants' uh, payment will be delayed again for other two more months. 
uh, this situation has uh, led the civil servant to go on demonstration in the entire country. Morobo FM is a welcome community asset, received with open arms, high hopes, and plenty of aspirations. For the reporters, it was a great opportunity to learn and work in a team for the benefit of their community. the end of our program. Stay tuned for the next program. Yeah, in fact, at the beginning, me, I thought I was not going to do something like this. But later, I just, according to my experience, I just feel it is simple. So long as if you are confident, you can do it. One can make it. <laughs>